Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining again. Uh, tonight, it's another Shelly Bloom. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this is actually a commissioned uh, coaster set. And the colors are basically going off their furniture in their living room. So it's yellow and like a dark gray color. Uh, the yellow that I'm using is by Liquitex. It's a cadmium yellow, medium hue followed by uh, Arteza's Space Gray. It's a pearl color. Um, and my cell activators are, well, the first one it looks black, but it's not really black. It's um, basically I mix together the white cell activator and a black cell activator to give like a dark gray one um, to try to match the color of the couch. And so the my cell activators, they are what three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint uh, the colors I use for the cell activator were by Amsterdam titanium white and oxide black and to get the charcoal gray color I just mixed them together uh, as far as my colors are concerned they're mixed two parts of ultra deep base by Sherman Williams which is no longer uh, being made so sorry um, Followed by one part of Josanya's gloss varnish. You know, when, when this, it's family, but you know, whenever the, my aunt sent me this picture of their furniture and stuff, she took a picture of her husband, my poor uncle, snoozing away. I'm like, really? I can't be doing that. So I won't post that picture. It was quite humorous just because, yeah. <laughs> um, now, it, with my paints, if like if I mix them up with the two parts to one part varnish and all that and if it was still too thick I did add some American flow troll to it to kind of thin it out a little bit you can either do that or you can use the gloss varnish again just you know sometimes if you put too much gloss varnish it can make your paints do something weird like uh, they call it flock I can't say the word so I'm not even gonna try but yeah, it flocks, it, like the pigments break down. Um, I didn't like that one just because I didn't want to leave like those two areas of washed out colors going over the corners. So I'm going to start over again. Um, so yeah, uh, later on this, mm, probably not this week, probably next week, I will post what you see the remnants of the pink on my spinner post that one yet that's a Christmas present so sorry I know you're heartbroken but uh, this is actually um, yeah it's it's not it doesn't have any type of interference colors on this one or anything like that so it, you know it, it is what it is and hey I'm gonna do it what was asked of me so I'll spin these out I mean the only bad thing about this I really I've forget her name but one of the videos you know it's have I'm having a hard time <laughs> grabbing my spinner so it, it is I, yeah see it slipped but um I guess I'm going to figure out a way how to uh, put some sticks on the bottom of it glue it or tape it or something that way those are easier to spin probably need a bigger box but I, I can manage that so yeah all right, I'll put on some music and I'll when I get done with these I'll get you down for a closer look and come back
All right, so now I'm back. All right, this is the last one. Um, I hope that she is happy with the coasters once I put some epoxy on them and let them cure for X amount of days and weeks, maybe. I'll probably go ahead and give them to them early and just say, you know, just watch out for it. Um, again, if you are doing this technique and you're getting frustrated and discouraged about it, we've all been there. Just reach out if you can. And if you reach out to me, I'll at least try to help in some way or answer questions too. Um, I will get you down for a closer look here in just a second. And I just want to say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And to all the new subscribers, thank you again. And uh, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.